Hello, my name is Howard Malano and today I'm going to show you how to make an animation of a circular cam mounted in an offset way with a follower. <coughs> it's more clear if I show you the animation. So it's a circular cam, where's the center? It's mounted in an offset way and it has a follower that follows the cam and it creates a nice smooth vertical movement of the, in the follower. So the distance between the center of rotation and the center of the cam is a fixed distance. The distance between the center of the cam and the follower is a fixed distance. This is radius and this is a portion of radius and I call it rotation distance, this distance. So let's see how we model this. So we have an assembly and a master sketch. Here is the center of the rotation. Here is the center of the disc. It is rotation distance away, so I'll show you. Rotation distance away, fixed distance, and this from the center of the disc to the beam is a fixed distance, which is radius. And the length of the beam is 30. So let's look at the cam. So let's hide the assembly. And let's make sure we have the local coordinate system where we're going to. Okay. So we're going to mount the circular cam at this local coordinate system. Here's the center of the. Um, of the cam and that distance between here and there is rotation distance so two-thirds of the radius this is radius radius of the disc there's the cam and the beam is just a regular beam and it has a local coordinate system right there in the corner okay let's hook up the cam and the beam to the assembly and we need uh, local coordinate systems for that so in assembly 4 let's make a new local coordinate system we call it LCS beam <coughs> and we're gonna hook it up to this vertex over here of the beam and the edge of the beam and in the O, X, Y, see, did you see it appear? So it appears over there now. That looks good. That's the LCS beam. Let's make one for the cam. Local coordinate system. Cam. And we're going to hook it up to the rotation center and the edge the little arm there and the same thing o x y all right so now we have places to hook up beam and cam let's uh, go ahead and insert them so in the assembly we're going to insert the cam and we're going to hook it up to cam and in the assembly we're gonna hook up the beam and we're gonna hook it up at the beam location all right let's try it out see if it works i like to try it out by hand first let's make it a little bit smaller so yep. So it rotates, here's the rotation center, the center of the disc rotates around the rotation center and the beam follows the cam. All looking good, let's try it out. So a circular cam mounted in an offset way with a follower that follows the cam. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.